As Carolina Hearn loses her battle with cancer at age 52, we take a look back at the comedy legend's love life. The award-winning TV writer and actress married New Order guitarist and house musician on The Mrs. Merton Show Peter Hook in 1994. The pair tied the knot at the Elvis Presley Memorial Chapel in Las Vegas just before she started to make her mark in the TV world with her eponymous Mrs. Merton character. But the pair then split just three years later in April 1997. Caroline also enjoyed a relationship with TV colleague Matt Bowers after they reportedly met at Granada's Manchester Studios. The pair then broke up a year later, just before he tragically died of cancer aged just 28. She also had a relationship with American actor Alexis Denisov, which ended a few weeks before her 1998 suicide attempt. In July of that year Caroline ended up at the Priory for a month after mixing three bottles of champagne with antidepressants. She was close to death when her mum Maureen found her. The following year, the comedy legend began dating fellow comic David Walliams after they met at the Groucho Club in London. Later, writing in his autobiography Camp David, he remembered their time together fondly but also admitted he struggled being with her because of her well-documented alcohol addiction. She was funny, northern and pretty in my favorite sort of way, blonde hair and big t asterisk asterisk s. Of course I was aware of her troubled life, and like most men who were attracted to Caroline, I thought I could save her. Caroline Sober, the real Caroline, is the sweetest, kindest gentlest most loving person you could ever meet, he wrote. However, when she drank, the alcohol poisoned her mind. The situation was making me unbearably sad. It broke my heart that we couldn't be together. Williams was one of the first to lead the tributes to Caroline after the sad news of her death broke. Absolutely devastating news about Carolina Hearn. A true comedy genius, her work was equally funny and touching, he shared. She also dated millionaire businessman Brett Whitford when she moved to Sydney to write Australian-based sitcom Dossa and Joe, which starred Neighbours actress Anne Charleston. However, the sitcom bombed and she soon moved back to Britain, without Whitford. 